Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to speak on the demands of grants of Ministry of Agriculture, sir. Ministry of Agriculture deals with three, three different departments. It is Department of Agriculture, Cooperation and Farmers' Welfare. The second one is the Agriculture Research and Education. The third one is the Animal Husbandry, Dairying and Fisheries, sir. It is a big uh, ministry dealing with many aspects. And uh, the steps taken for improving the agricultural activities in the country and also to take care of the welfare of the farmers, the government of India has initiated uh, different uh, schemes and programs. The main important scheme is being the interest subvention scheme, sir. I am very happy to note that the government has allocated about uh, 10 lakh crores of credit for agriculture and the interest subvention that is reducing the interest for the farmers is also a welcome step, sir. The second significant step is the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. Previously also there are insurance schemes, farm insurance schemes, but uh, all of us know that the insurance schemes are <coughs> being implemented for the farmers when they get the loan from the bank only to the extent of the loan. Therefore, it is rather can be called as the loan insurance schemes than the agricultural insurance schemes. But the latest scheme introduced by the government, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, it is with less premium the maximum benefit for the farmer. Some of the premium is being subsidized by both the state and central governments and the farmer is being benefited with this scheme, sir. Then the Krishi Vikas Yojana to help the state governments in the agricultural developmental activities. Krishi Sinchai Yojana to increase the coverage of irrigation in the country and also to increase the micro irrigation in the, in the form of drip irrigation and also sprinkler irrigation. Sir, the main problem today is the land is limited in the country. With the limited land available in the country, the main objective of the government is how to increase the production in the given land. That is the objective, sir, for increasing the productivity. The productivity of agriculture plays a very important role in the country's economy. If the country has to attain the double-digit growth, it can be achieved only and only if the agricultural growth rate exceeds 4%, sir. But uh, as per the statistics of the Central Statistics Office, CSO, growth in agricultural output in the year 14-15 is minus 0.2%. In 15-16, it is about 0.8%. Now, in the 16-17, it is expected to be at 4.1 percent, sir. I think it should be sustained and also it should be increased, sir. For increasing the productivity of the growth in agriculture, I think there are some six, seven aspects which we should take care of. That is, number one is the availability of inputs, whether it is fertilizer, seed, etc. Then the access to credit the banks, financial institutions should be able to give credit to all the farmers, whoever is in the need. The third one is the pricing and also marketing of agricultural commodities. For achieving all this, sir, the government has initiated a program called the Soil Health Cards and also about fertilizers. The neem-coated urea is one of the revolutionary steps to reduce the black marketing of the urea going from agricultural sector to the industrial sector, sir. The quality of seeds. The quality of seeds is one of the important factors. If the quality of the seed is good, then the productivity will be high. Therefore, the farmer should be supplied of the good quality of seeds, sir. Then the irrigation. Irrigation is a very important factor where the people, the farmers will get the water for their fields, land. In this context, sir, I would like to mention, I would like to thank the Honorable Prime Minister and Government of India 
for extending 100% financial assistance for the completion of Polavaram project in Andhra Pradesh, sir. If the Polavaram project is completed, 7.2 lakh acres of the new ICAT will be operational in addition to stabilizing 13.5 lakh acres of land in Krishna Delta and also 10 lakh acres of land in Godavari Delta, sir. It will definitely help us to enhance the agricultural growth rate in Andhra Pradesh. In Otherwise, it will also contribute to the growth rate of the country, sir. The mechanization, introduction in the agricultural sector, giving, supplying the farm mechanization and also giving the minimum support price, whether we give minimum support price or whether we call it as the remunerative price. I think the agricultural profession has become non-profitable nowadays and people from agricultural profession are migrating to other professions, sir. If we want to sustain the agriculturalist to be in the agriculture, agriculture profession should be made profitable. How do we make profitable? That is the main concern of all of us, sir. Sir, for uh, marketing the agricultural produce, Government of India has uh, brought into the ENAM, where all the mandis are being integrated into an e-platform where the price can be fetched more for the agriculture. Wherever the price is high, the farmer will be able to sell in that particular market. I think up to December 2016, 250 mandis and 10 states are integrated with ENAM, 9 lakh farmers and also 59,742 traders, 31,317 commission agents have been registered on e-platform so far, sir. Sir, the Agriculture Ministry is dealing with uh, so many revolutions, sir. One is the Green Revolution, where we attain the maximum production of food grains, pulses, etc. The other thing is the Blue Revolution, which deals with the fishery development. The third one is the White Revolution, which deals with the dairy and other products, sir. Sir, uh, I would like to discuss with some few points about fisheries, sir. Fisheries, there are two sectors. One is the marine fisheries, the other is the inland fisheries. India having a coast of 7,500 kilometers, India offers a very good opportunity to exploit its marine resources. Sir, in marine resources, the commercialization of fishery activity has come down. There are no deep sea fishing vessels as on today. Deep sea fishing vessel is defined as the fishing vessel whose length is more than 20 meters and above. But now in India, no deep sea fishing vessel is in operation. In 1980s, from my constituency in Visakhapatnam Fishing Harbor, about 120 deep sea fishing vessels are to be operated with the base of port as Visakhapatnam Fishing Harbor, sir. Now all the vessels are being either sold or scrapped or some being used for supply vessels to ONGC and other oil drilling companies, sir. They are not in the fishing operation. The reason is because the fishing operation in the deep sea has become non-remunerative. We have uh, an exclusive economic zone to the extent of 2.02 million square kilometers. There are so many marine resources. I think Government of India, I request, sir, through you, Honorable Agriculture Minister, to evolve a comprehensive policy on deep sea fishing. We have a lot of resource of tuna, but there is no vessel owned by Indian entrepreneur to exploit the tuna resource. It fetches good price in the international market, sir. Sir, there are drought conditions in Andhra Pradesh in Rail Sima region. There is a problem for uh, drinking water. I request the Honorable Minister to help the Dial Sima region where the drought is severe, sir. I have uh, another request to Honorable Minister sir, regarding fertilizer. We are encouraging different types of organic fertilizer, sir. There is a PROM society which is uh, encouraging the phosphate rich organic manure where the phosphate can be mixed into the organic manure or uh, other manure with cow dung and others, and it can be used for better purposes, substituting DAP, sir. We are spending a lot of subsidy on DAP. 
I think the subsidy burden of the government can be reduced if the prom phosphate rich organic manure is encouraged, sir. I request government of India to think about this, sir. Lastly, there is a request from agriculturalist farmers that Narega should be linked to the agricultural activity so that the agriculture can be taken forward, sir. If these ideas are being considered positively, agriculture will have better future in our country. Thank you very much, sir.